She knows she lied. You pregnant. I said, like, who you talking to? <laughs> It wasn't like concerning to me but I missed my period and then I think I finally said something to my mom and I was like mom I, I think I was like by that time I think I was like a week late like I said I, I didn't think nothing because it was always an issue with that so I, it was just like okay uh yeah, so that happened. Oh, I'm, I'm jumping in. Let me start off at the end. Your girl. Normally, I tell my mama everything. Like, I normally tell her everything. But just, like, when I started, you know, doing what I was doing to get pregnant, I uh, kept that from her. So... Yeah, keeping that from my was a mistake because, you know, I could have got birth control. I could have got a lot of stuff, but my son's here now, so of course I don't regret that. But if I would have told her, if I would have talked to her, things could have went a different way. But, of course, he was meant to be here. But, um, yeah, so I know I'm her, well, I still, I tell her everything. Um, but I didn't tell her that, so I started, uh, doing doing stuff in April and by that time like what time I want to say I really can't put a time stamp on it but she knew that I was uh, doing that she knew she doesn't say nothing. she didn't say nothing because she wanted me to come tell her on my own she wanted me to come tell her on, on my own um, but I didn't do that, so the months passed. Yeah, so I started doing that in April. The months passed. Um, I don't know when she, when she, oh, of course she found out that I was pregnant, so she was like, okay, you're doing something. Um, this story all over the place, because I don't even know. Uh, uh. Found out I was pregnant in September. No, I found out I was pregnant in October. I got pregnant in September. So they they all like I think we we going off that you fertile or something like that. So I think I was like almost I think I was done and then that was done. So I got pregnant in September. Uh, no signs, no nothing. Uh, I had went to this wedding September 21st. Still nothing. Still nothing. All October came. And y'all, so my auntie had got some nachos. I love nachos. 
So we always, cause she come on, she used to like come on. So, um, anyway, we got some nachos. I ate them that day, that night. Honey, they came back up, and it was like, it was like a no go. So, that was my first sign that something was going on, cause I didn't think I was pregnant. I threw it, I threw the nachos mm -hmm. back up, like, mm -hmm. like, ugh. So. I, I went to go tell my mama, like, a little baby, like, Ma, I threw up. She like, okay. She like, go back to your room. So, after that, I, it was nothing. I don't know what, what day that was exactly, but I told her 26, that's when I was at work. And I was having, like, excruciating back pain. Like, my back was hurting so bad like when I say bad like it felt like somebody just said something so heavy on my back so my mama being my mama she was like just go to the doctor she said like, just go get checked out but my job she knew she knew I was pregnant <laughs> so uh, I went I went I think I went after work or I think I left work early or something like that I got the it was at the clinic that they did walk-ins. So I got them. And, you know, they checked me out, whatever. They're like, you want to take a pregnancy test? I'm like, go ahead. So I took the test. You know, peed on it, got it back. She come, the doctor come in the room. She like, asked me questions, stuff like that. And then she, next thing you know, she like, you pregnant. I said, like, who you talking to? <laughs> She was like, yes, you're pregnant. I'm like, I think you got that mixed up with somebody else. I'm like, that's, that's not mine. That's not mine. Sorry. Like, y'all, it was just like, like, I was shocked. Like, like I couldn't even say no. I was just shocked. I was just sitting there. And then, uh, yeah, so she told me she went to go say, she went, yeah, I can't talk. She said that I was eight weeks pregnant. And then I'm like, I'm still just in there like, what am I going to do? So then she was like, she was asking me that I want to get like abortion. She was like, you still have time for abortions and stuff like that. I was like, no, no, no. I don't believe in abortion. So I knew I wasn't going to do that. I was just processing how I was going to tell my mama. But she already knew. But I was like, my like, how am I So I got my papers back. I think I went home. And. I believe that day was a Friday. I believe that day was a Friday. And Fridays, we always like going out. So I got my papers back. I don't remember how I told her. I think I just was like, Mom, I'm pregnant. So she wanted to see my. And I think I just gave her the papers. Y'all, I'm forgetting so much stuff. I FaceTime her. Doctor stepped out the room. I FaceTime her when the doctor left. And. I, that's when I told her. I was like, I'm pregnant. Like I did. She knew. So she was like, uh, then she wants to see the paper. So I kind of like put the paper up to the phone. And I show her. She like, okay, we'll talk about when you get home. That was that. Uh, I got home. Don't remember after that. What I do remember is it was a Friday. And I, I don't know if I wanted to tell him. Or my mama told me to tell him, but I, I told him, y'all. So that was like a mistake because I didn't get the reaction that I wanted. So I called him, I FaceTimed him, and he was like, just so nonchalant about it. And like, I can never forget that because it was just like, the phone call was so short. Like, I was like, I'm pregnant. And then it was like, let me call you back. So, it was like, the phone call was so short that it made me really feel some type of way. But that was that. Um, of course, my mom was... She, I wouldn't say she was upset. She was more so disappointed because I was only... I was 19. And... Yeah, like, it was so much I, I could have did. Like, I could have waited. I could have got on birth control, which was one of the main things. I could have got birth control. 
but uh, y'all could have did that. And she talked to me, and then I cried because I was like, I'm so close with my mama. I never want her to like feel some type of way about me. So it was like it, it hurt me to see that she was hurt. But now I can honestly say she loves my baby. Like she loved him so much. They bond is so tight. Like like he don't even want me. He wants my mom all day, every day. So that's like I love saying that. Um, but of course, a parent, a young girl, she gonna want her daughter to, you know, wait. Anybody gonna want that? But it wasn't like she was cussing me out, or she was like, "Why you go out and do that?" Like it wasn't none of that. Like she was being very genuine. She was just telling me what it is, you know, what it was, and I appreciate that about her. Um, but after that, moving on, she helped me with everything, like my whole pregnancy. My mom was there. She helped me do everything. She took me to my doctor's appointment. She took me, like, y'all, I was craving ICs or whatever. She got me what I wanted and everything. So, like I said, I appreciate my mom. She was there through my whole pregnancy. She's still there. My baby is one years old, and she has been a big help. So, if you're watching this, thank you, Mom. Um, And she's been a big help. So... Like, okay, finding out I was pregnant, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say my mom told me, but she kind of told me. Like, she kind of, she knew, but she kept it to herself. So, we ended up talking, y'all, and she was like, uh, yeah, your stomach was getting round. She was like, I know that you were sleeping a lot, your mood changed. So, she said, don't was the sign that she saw that she knew I was pregnant, because Come on now, she know her child, I live with her, so of course she gonna notice a change in me. But yeah, the only thing I knew was me missing my period. And then that one time through my whole pregnancy, I had threw up that very first time. But other than that, yeah, I found that by having very bad back pain and then going to get checked out. I wish I would have took a pregnancy test though, so I could have kept it. But I don't know what happened. I had some papers that said I was pregnant. I don't know what happened to them. But yeah, let me show my shirt. Black Lives Matter. Um, but yeah, this how I found out. And it it wasn't like it was like a long time where I didn't know. So I, it was in September when I. When I got pregnant, and then I found that at the end, I told them so. It wasn't long. Like I said, I was only eight weeks. What that is? Two months. That was it. Let's see. I don't think I got nothing else to say. Oh, if you guys want more story times like this, please subscribe to my channel. Get it be a, a video, a big thumbs up. And yeah. I love more story time so like I said if you want to see more just let me know in the comments below and thank you guys for watching and I think he's waking up so let's do that.